We're against them tonight. We're gonna see Teddy Killers play. Let's go. Hi everyone, I'm with Greg from Teddy Killers, one of the three guys, and we're gonna ask some questions about different tracks that Teddy Killers released over the years. Oh yeah, that's a super old one, I think that's the first one, yeah? Wow, I think that's how we first ever released the Teddy Killers. The moment when uh, Oleg and Anton was the duo before I joined them, I was just like managing them. That's an old one. Yeah, you don't need to play the whole thing, I remember this one really well. <laughs> that was the first approach on the trap. I think, like, right now, if I listen back to this track, I feel, like, super embarrassed because we... What you have when you're a drum and bass guy trying to make a trap music 10 years ago or something like that. That was, I think, our first or second also release. I think that was the first one. I mean, we had so much excitement about this release because uh, we just came up with a new project. And then it got signed on Osla, you know, Sprillix label, like, wow, you know, it was so much hype. So, I, that's, from this point of view, I'm still proud of the rest of the tracks on this uh, release, but this specifically one, I think, now I would never play it again. <laughs> yeah, that is song... Uh, it's a title song from our album, yeah, from Nightmare Street. Teddy's song is, uh, it was uh, important for us, I mean, when I listened to us, it was a whole era when we got signed to Ram. You know, it was like a steps when we started, then we go to Oslo, then we went back more to drum and bass, and we still got signed to Ram, which was like a huge honor for us. And I'm still like grateful to Ram and like all people behind it. And that was the first track we actually ever made a music video for, which was like a cartoon with like bears killing everyone and so on and so on. Yeah, that, that's a memorable one. And I still play it sometimes. We're way better here, I guess. So with the EP's Hellblade and Shopping Machine, uh, you take the role of reference artist in Eurofunk? Uh, how went your collaboration with the label Eat Brain through the years? I actually like super happy with Eat Brain about like the way they work, and I like big ups to Gabor because he appreciates the artist vision and he never tell like to change anything or you know he just said like I feel the track or I don't feel the track. So far, there was only one track which he refused, which I think is a good sign. Uh, so we have a perfect match in terms of what we like in drum and bass. Um, yeah. Eat Brain is great and uh, I think they did a lot for the scene and right now they are the only ones who deliver like, you know, the neurofunk, so like big masses, you know, which made the neurofunk coming from down to ground a bit of mainstream but in a good way. Yeah, that's a collaboration with company, yeah? Mm, it's hard to say which one is the favorite. Um, I think my favorite collaboration is collaboration between me, Anton and Oleg over the years. Specifically, I think I really enjoy when we team up with the people outside drum and bass world like uh, Bloody Beetroot, Zion Timmer, like company himself, bring them to drum and bass territory trying to combine styles of electro dubstep with DNB. I think the results are always refreshing, you know, it's like a new blood. And uh, luckily, the last couple of years, the drum and bass is getting big in state, so there is more and more people from other genres involved, and they drop drum and bass tracks in their sets. So yeah, I think uh, collaborating with non-drum and bass artists are always very exciting. Night Rain. <laughs> I think that's like a continuation, actually. So this track, originally, we were talking about to make a collab with uh, Infected Mushroom. Mm -hmm. And uh, we are a big fan of Infected Mushroom for years and I was a big Sightruns fan from my 16 years old. So we were thinking to combine something which would remind like a, you know, Sightruns mm -hmm. thing, turn it into drum and bass. Um, the collaboration was postponed, we're still like talking about it, but uh, the main thing that we got this idea and guys was like, should we just make it ourselves? Like our own track and that's how it was born. And but instead of neuro, we just mix like a side trance intro with like a roller drop 
which we also like a big fans of souped up records and we keep releasing music there we have another two coming there soon so like the british drum and bass approach with side trans approach from israel because i think that's where side trans is the biggest one i think it got like good result and like seems like people really appreciated yeah, it because it was good. played a lot over the summer yeah did you expect it i would like blow up like this like the not mixture really we Titan like the, the best rule like if you don't want to be disappointed never expect something you know you just true. do because you want to do it or you want, you like it and that's it Please! Sick, great set, great show. Fucking do it!